Today, we're checking out Fierce to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. And if you're not familiar with Fierce to Fathom, it's an episodic horror game series made by a solo dev, Rael. And what he's been doing is he's been taking true stories from user submissions and turning them into these hour and a half to three hour game experiences. They've been really well done. They have great ambience. And the thing that is most terrifying about them is that they are based or grounded in reality for the most part. And they are things that could potentially actually happen, whether or not they're true. Sometimes reality is way scarier than any fiction that we can dream up. I have covered two of these episodes so far on my channel, Norwood, Hitchhike, and Carson House. I'll link those down in the description if you guys want to check them out. I loved both of those episodes. They were really good. Here's to Fathom Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout. May 12th. Hey, May is the best month. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fierce to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Ooh. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park manager in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Oh, we're taking over, we're driving. Woo! All right, guys, we got to watch out for stuff. Oh, hey, look, look at our little RV. That's cute. Space to get up so we can actually stop and get up. Okay. Speed limits 40. I can't tell my gauge. What did that say? Roseburg, four miles. Oh, read messages. Okay, I should probably stop, right, to read messages. Kayla Nelson. All right, let's see. Um... Oh, man, there's a lot to read. Hold on. Let's read all of this. Let's scroll up and read everything. So it says, uh, this new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature away from people and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season, hee <laughs> hee. Like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change, oh, there's an ID. It says Jack Nelson, Ironbark Fire Department, Fire Lookout, State of Washington. Ooh, Ironbark. They're staffing me to Ironbark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, I heard they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With dad, I'll call you back. How is it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? And then we got some messages from a Mitch Scott. Let's see what these are. Congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reaching to you to tell you that you've been assigned Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Iron Bark. Thank you. Heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID today. Your shift starts on 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers. Just bring your ID. Josh told me the job is not news to you. New to you, right? Can I just ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry. I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off in a cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong, and I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Iron Bark. Good. I hope you fare better than the last lady. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on a Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. All right. All righty. 
we're gonna have to hike a couple hours through the woods dude i am not ready for this you know one of the things i really enjoy about the fears to fathom series is its lo-fi aesthetic as far as visuals and like the music that plays in it sometimes like it's playing right now in the van i will say though despite it being like this lo-fi film grainy visuals it is a stunningly gorgeous game, or game series, I should say. Hey, what's up? It's a big ass truck. What up, Mo? Do I have a horn? I've always loved the great outdoors. Yeah, man. Oh, just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. This thing's kind of hard to, to drive. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Something weird. I see a radio tower. Oh, Caleb messaged. All right, let's stop in the middle of the road in a corner. This is always safety first, kids. Don't text and drive. Just make sure you pull over in the middle of the road. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, all right, what did Kayla have to say? Uh, I remember there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Sweet. Is Kayla like the love interest or just a friend? Is she the love interest? All right, so we're looking for a diner to get some burgers at. Some burgers. Some burgers. I'll take some burgers. Ooh, running off the road by accident. My bad. My bad. You know what? I should hold on, hold on. I keep stopping, but you know what? You know what? Oh, stop. I'm going downhill. This thing doesn't stop. How do you stop it? All right, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna, can I get up? Oh, I'm gonna get up. Okay, I pulled over to the side of the road. I'm kind of off the road. I think I see the diner. Can I turn the radio off? Okay, okay, there we go. Good to know. Oh, I can just pick up my bag. Okay, we'll throw that right there. I just want to check out my RV before shit starts hitting the fan. You know what I mean? I want to, like, know what I'm dealing with. Those are just my brake lights, right? Yeah, those are my brake lights reflected. I have a globe right there. This is my bathroom. Oh, it's a pretty spiffy, man. Pretty spiffy. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You guys, yeah. Yeah, fill in the blank right there. All right. Um... Moving on. What does this say? It says presidential cliffhanger awaits Florida recount. Oh, this is from back in the day. <gasps> we can actually hold on. Can we actually get out right now? <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> what happens if I run in front of the car? <gasps> Nothing. Okay. Well, I mean, I, I didn't quite make it. Hey, look, it's our RV. Okay. All right, let's go to the diner. It's where we're going to start to hear some weird shit, I would assume, about uh, the lookout, right? Or where we're going. Would be my assumption. So this place, is that the diner? I see houses. Is that like a house? I can't tell. Or is that the diner? This is like a gas station service. Okay, that can't be the diner, right? Can I go in here though? Hold on, let's park here. Let's see. There's no, I I don't think that I'm gonna be able to go in all these places, but let's try. Let's see what happens. Repass, repairs, please. Yeah, I can't even go up there. What is all that? Ooh, okay, there's an invisible wall. All right. These games are usually fairly linear. They're still good, but they're fairly linear. There's a lot of crows circling up there. I'm taking my time with this. It said less than two hours of playtime, but man, I'm gonna clock in probably at like three. Okay, how do I... S oh, I gotta press forward to start the car and then back it up. All right, ga um, gas station. How's my gas doing? A little bit below half a tank, it looks like. Okay. If I look at the gauge there in the center. Well, where's this diner? I don't think... Oh, there's the diner. I saw the diner. Kayla was talking about. All right, I got to park here. Don't hit any other cars. Oh, 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 I almost hit a car. All right, we're going to park in the back because this big chungus, I don't know how well I'm going to do with parking. Oh, look, there's a space right here. It's got our name on it. We'll just be that asshole and park like this. I don't do this in real life because this is dick move, but we're taking up two spaces. It's a small town diner. It'll be all right. 
it would be I. Right. Yeah, there we go. Well, really, we're only in one. Look at that. That's a that's a bang up parking job if I've ever seen one. Let me tell you right now. All right, look at the beautiful sky, man. Gorgeous, simply gorgeous. All right, what are you doing, man? You're supposed to eat your food inside of the diner. You eating a burger out here? How's that burger? Where are you headed? How's that burger? This little piece of heaven, this place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Just passing through. I'm a new staffer at Iron Bark State Park. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or a goat man. People say there's something like that living in that forest. I'm gonna ask, do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them... What is happening? Some of them never come back. Okay, why did the music do that? Dude, the people are unsettling in these games. I'm gonna say, where are you headed? I'm from Roseburg. This place is pretty much my week. Oh, I already did that. Okay, I've already talked to you. Can I get out of this conversation? Passing through, have a safe journey. All right, all right, we talked to this guy. Did I, was there like something spooky in the background that I missed? You guys, I'm gonna have to look at that in editing and see. I don't know. Oh man, let's get a burger. Whoa, welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. Can I turn this off? This is loud. All right, Jesus Christ. No, turn it off. No, turn off. Off! I like music just as much as the next guy, but he's loud. Turn off. Turn off. Son of a bitch. All right, whatever. I talked to all these people. You look a little lost. Uh, I'm just passing through. So where are you headed? Starting my new job at a nearby state park. Ah, that's great. I didn't know those these jobs still existed. What an asshole. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Uh, do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. Okay. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. I can be a bit of a roller coaster. I can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. Okay. What's up, dude? Please leave me alone. <laughs> Why is he looking at his guy's eyes closed? Why you look like that, man? All right, I haven't picked where to set. I just want to talk to her. But this guy looks like a serial killer. Uh, how's the food? He just stared at me. Okay. How about, uh, do you mind if I join you? He just stared at me. Yep, serial killer. Pretty long day at work, huh? He just stared at me. All right, asshole. What about this guy? What's up? Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? Uh, I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Iron Bark State Park. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. I'm gonna say what? Like, I don't know. I need to go. Uh, let's see what else he says here. I'm gonna say I'm a staffer. He says, is it true? We can't say. I can't even imagine what the parents must be going through. It's every parent's worst nightmare. Agreed. Are you a weirdo? Where do I sit? Can I just sit down? Like, one of these seats? I'm gonna sit here. Looks like I am meant to sit here. Hey, what's up? I, I want some food. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub. Well, the burgers were supposed to be the best, according to Kayla. So I'm gonna trust my, I'm gonna trust my friend and I'm gonna get the cheeseburger with fries. Uh, aha, our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Strawberry slush, coffee, or large Coke? Mm. All right, hear me out here. I love soda <laughs> and caffeine, right? But uh, I also like fruity drinks. I just like fruity stuff, okay? Strawberry slush sounds good, but I don't know. With a burger, a soda is just, it just hits different. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to do a large Coke. Perfect. Anything else? That'll be all. Thank you. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything. Will do. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. 
Okay, that's weird. I don't know why you would need to include that in the story. But okay, how do I get up? Oh yeah, space. That's right. All right, let's go take a tinkle winkle. And uh, hopefully serial killer guy doesn't come in here and try to kill us. I really had to pee. All right, man. Well, we're going to go to the bathroom. Calm down. Oh, man. Oh, I can aim the stream. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? What am I playing? Oh, my God. Can I get it out? Oops. Oops. Oh, damn. I'm an asshole, man. I was done with it. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. Oh, man. I can't see myself. I have no body. I have no body. All right. Hold on. Uh, we need to wash our hands. Oh, we practice hygiene. Okay. If you don't wash your hands after you go to the bathroom, you're a nasty person. Wash your goddamn hands. We're going to dry him too. You're going to do this properly, all right? All right, then you open the door. And then we're going to go back to our table. This guy has a mother. I just realized this guy brought a shovel. Wait, 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 wait. This guy is a shovel and some sort of cloak and burlap sack with him. Um, that's not normal, dude. You don't come into a restaurant and bring the shovel that you used to bury the person you just killed in your burlap sack where you had their cut up body. What's wrong with you, bro? Fucking weirdo, dude. I swear to God. I think, dude. Uh, all right. So these games are kind of famous for like dropping clues or hints or whatever, or like throwing in little details like this in regards to the story like you mark my words this is gonna come back i bet to to be something or to do something i don't know what but it is all right where's my cheese bagel i'm hungry dude i'm hungry i could eat look at that menu what a beautiful menu it's got like one two three four five six six items and then one two three four wait she's holding out on me she only offered me three different drinks and there are four on the menu excuse me what was the other drink? Am I not good enough for it? Hmm. All right, I see what you're doing. Man, she just dropped that off right on the table. It just walked away. She didn't say anything else. All right, well, I'm gonna eat my, I'm gonna eat my burger first, consuming. Mmm. Look at that burger float. <laughs> there has been an eating mechanic in every single one of these games. Like in the first one that I didn't play for the channel Home Alone, you had to eat, it was either spaghetti or pizza. No, I think it was pizza in Carson House and spaghetti in Home Alone. Um, I've forgotten the Norwood Hitchhike. I think you might stop at a diner or a convenience store too. There's eating in every single one, which is pretty funny. The French fries float too. I love it. I love lo-fi games like this. They're great. Little good, like the stories are usually good in this. Oh, I got more messages from Kayla. I need to uh, drink my big drink though. Um, so did you end up going? How was it? I'm here still eating. This is so good. Hell yeah, dude. All right, I got to drink my drink. There we go. Look at that. Weird shit's already happening, dude. My food is floating. That's not normal, bro. It's not normal, man. This diner is possessed. Told you, hee hee. Uh, this food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. <laughs> would you have a stove? You, would you have a stove and stuff to cook? Don't like forest rangers and stuff? Like, they're basically... Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Check, please. Oh, what if I wanted to order, like, a meatball sub, too, bro? I gotta beef up. I'm about to go out in the woods for a long hike. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll be right back. By the way, guys, uh, heart rate monitor is down in the bottom right of the screen. Still got the Spooktober heart rate go going on. That animated Jackyo Lantern, Jackyo Lantern, Jackyo, Jackyo, Jack Jackyo. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't get at me because I talk funny. Leave me alone. I gotta pay. I gotta pay for this. You walk so slow. Are you okay? Do you need a doctor? Here's the check. Your total is $6. A 50% tip? Hmm. Okay, listen. At the beginning, normally I'm a pretty big tipper. Uh, for our non-American friends, this is probably strange to you guys because tipping is really only a thing in America is the way I understand it. 
um, everywhere else pays or tries to pay a livable wage for the most part, which is good. And what we should do in America, not that there's a problem with tipping, it's just, you know, places need to pay their workers a livable wage. Anyway, um, but usually at restaurants here in America for the non-American friends, uh, you pay for your meal and then you don't have to, it's not required, but it is considered polite uh, to add a tip uh, to that for your waitress. So normally I tip pretty big. 50% is way too much. Normally the minimum is 15% you do, right? And then you go up from there. I normally tip somewhere between 20 and 30%. Just depends on how how good the service was, how good the food was, all that good jazz. Um, but at the beginning of this, if you remember, he talked about his financial situation a little bit and how he made just enough to get by. And we are living out of an RV. I don't want to spend all this dude's money. So, uh, nah, you know what? I'm going to spend all that. This is what he's talking about. This is one of the best burgers he's ever had. 50% tip, baby. There we go. Tip the waitress. Generous. Ooh, that was an achievement. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. You know what? I'm sorry, man. I spent all your money. That might come back to bite me later. I might need that money for something later. Like maybe I get a flat tire here. I don't know. We'll see. All right, our dude is our dude is still out here. He's got a never-ending burger, bro. He's still chowing down on that burger. All right, dude. Let's get back to our RV. The trees look great too. Oh, I just left. Did I leave this open? Hold on. Did I leave the door to the RV open and not close it or somebody here? The bathroom door was strangely jammed. Okay. Um, I, th I don't know. I may have left the door open, but I swear to God, I didn't. I don't think I did. I probably did. I think I would try to get into my bathroom door before doing this. But I don't have another option, it seems like. Screw it. We're gonna get we're gonna get killed by that serial killer guy. Oh man. I am not looking forward to this. Somebody is gonna come up behind us and and just yep. I wasn't oh, I hit something. <laughs> I wasn't very proud of my driving. I didn't mean to hit anything. What did I hit? Did I back my RV into some... Oh! God, I'm going fast, boy. Going fast. What happens if you run into somebody? Should I try to crash the car, guys? Or the RV, I mean? 8.02 p.m. Oh, no. It's getting late. It's getting late. All right. Turn the radio off. We want to be able to hear if somebody's walking up behind us. Why is the ambience like that? Do you guys hear that? I want to include the location of this park, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in the woods. Okay. What does this sign say? Parking by permit only. Is this it? So it says I'm supposed to go to gate D, right? Do I keep going? What does this say? Gate D. Yeah, here we go. Iron Bark State Park, Gate D. I don't feel like I'm going to make this turn. Oop. I drove my RV onto the foot trail. <laughs> I think I've messed up. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to park. Uh-oh. All right, can we back up? Can I get out of here? Okay, hold on. I've... I've not parked in the correct spot. I don't like the ambience that's going on here. I got to be honest. All right, we're going to try to get out of here. We're going to try to get out of here. Seriously, we, we got to try. We got to try. All right, so I would like to try to park where we're actually supposed to park. Just because... Oh, man, I didn't mean to get up again. Just because it might unlock some, like, specific story thing or something. I don't know. We'll see. But I have uh, kind of screwed myself here. Like, I've kind of stuck the vehicle. 
So I don't know if we'll be able to do this, but I'm going to back out. I wasn't very proud of my driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already got that. Okay. So it looks like, I mean, that would be a good hint, right? Park another RV there, and that's where you're supposed to park. So let's see. All right. Let's actually park in the right space, right? Okay, okay, okay. And let's see if we can straighten this out a little. Make it look a little prettier. Right? Ooh, we are very close to that car. Okay. Let's just get over a little bit so that they can actually get in their vehicle. I'm a good driver in real life. I swear, guys. I swear. All right. All right. I think we're good. I think this is a good parking job after we've dented the hell. Is our bathroom still jammed? It is. Lovely. Oh, man. The music is freaking eerie, dude. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, can I, like, check these vehicles? Oh, why am I leaving all the lights on in my RV? I should close the door to my RV. I did close. Okay. Okay. I have closed the door to the RV. If whenever we need to come back to the RV and the door is not closed, we know that we had closed it so that there's a problem. All right. What does this say? That says the state park. Gold Creek Trail is where we wanted to be. If you remember from the text with uh, Mitch, that is where we wanted to be. All right, can we go in here? Mitch, it said Mitch might be at the gate. <laughs> Shit, bro! Jesus Christ, dude. What is wrong with you? Oh, God, man. What are you doing? Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. You scared me? One of who? One of who? May Lord have mercy? What? Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Uh, you're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Dude, Jesus fuck, man. God, what was wrong with you? And he had a shotgun. He had a double barrel shotgun in his hand, it looked like. Or was that supposed to be a rifle? God damn, dude. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Take keys. <sighs> Let me open the trail gate for you. Why were you under the impression that it would not be staffed for the season? That's a little scary. I don't want to go through the woods now, dude. This is going to be... This is going to be terrifying. I would never walk through the woods alone. Let alone... At night. Let alone in a place where three kids missing. Let alone... For... I, I don't care. You couldn't pay me enough. This job would not pay enough. Two million dollars would not be enough money for this. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Uh, thank you, Billy. You could... You be careful. Take this. Take flashlight. Okay. Welcome to the Iron Bark, pal. Now for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. What? Hey, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. When I first came here, I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. When I first came here, you said you thought I was one of them. What the hell does that mean, dude? Oh my god. Why? I, I, I asked the same thing when I was playing Slenderman the other night. Why in the world would I do this? Please stay on the trail. Switchback shortcutting destroys the vegetation. Please don't litter. Please pack out all trash you don't burn. Don't 
bury trash animals will dig it up alcoholic beverages prohibited here's the missing kids uh britney spears <laughs> wait <laughs> it's brit but then me spears i love it sanita williams sanita williams who is, is that supposed to be anybody hugh yasmin so like hugh jackman right i guess kind of i don't know sanita Will i'm a feel bad that i don't i don't recognize the pun here all right we have a map it says that area up there is closed i can't really read any of this though like where my tower is at or anything so it's not really useful oh my god dude that jump scare from that guy got me so bad i don't know why i wasn't expecting it i was expecting it i wasn't expecting it there foot trail designated access no bikes only horses stay on the trail i i left my bag in the rv at first oh i forgot my bag that's right. I need stuff. I need clothes. I need stuff and things, man. I don't think that there's a sprint button, and I move very slow. Well, there kind of is. You move a little bit faster holding shift, but not really. It's not that big of a change. Dude, I am not ready for this. Well, we know... Okay. Here's the saving grace. We know that... I survive, right? Or at least I think I do because I'm telling, I, I emailed the dev of this game and told this story to them, right? So I survived somehow. Oh man, I am not ready for this. I'm carrying a bag and a flashlight and I'm walking through the woods where three kids disappeared. I'm screwed, dude. Okay, please, yeah, please don't make me do the whole walk, please. Just take me to the tower. <laughs> I don't think my heart can take it, man. Oh, 11.32 p.m. Oh, shit, dude. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. All right, well, I see the lookout tower, right? Tower 11, closest tower. Frequency 155.92500. All right, um... We need to remember that. That's the frequency for our tower, right? Well, I don't know. Ooh, look at the pretty water. It is, it is very windy here. I can hear it. Oh, I'm moving faster, it seems like now. Oh, I can't open that. Caution, non-ionizing radiation. What? Do radio towers actually give off radiation? That might be a stupid question, but uh gold creek trail and then tower 11 170 feet lacy trail 3.2 miles that way so that trail uh, living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job yep i would imagine it's not imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time it's not for everyone no i'll be goddamn if i would ever do anything like this dude never turn on the generator right we need power Right? And we have the key to the tower. Oh, I see another tower. Is that tower 12? Or that's probably tower 10. Because I came from that way, right? I think. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This looks a little cozy. I would totally be blocking that door with something, though. I'm going to tell you that right fucking now, dude right now all right well, i put my bag on my bed right i put my bag on my bed there hold on pick it up again we gotta put it like down here because we need a place to sleep oh come on there we go that's perfection i had to report for tonight yes sir yes sir uh that's bear spray right i'm definitely picking that up wow where are there lights in here yeah 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 yeah. there we go all right we don't we don't oh i can look out well, that's not good, dude. Uh, I think I'm gonna drop my flashlight right there. Ooh, nope, it needs to be on the table. All right, flashlight's there, we need to remember that. Bear spray, uh, left mouse button to use. Yeah, oh yeah. Get those bad guys, dude. All right, I'm gonna carry this around religiously. My hands were full off, oh, fuck, I can't. He thought of that. He thought of that. <laughs> The dev thought of it, dude. All right. Uh, to open and left mouse button to use. 
How do I? I can't crouch. Just throw a match in there? No, that's not how that works. <laughs> All right, hold time. <laughs> all right i know i'm an idiot guys nobody make fun of me you need wood i need wood in there first all right i have a, an axe here a gas can that i can pick up okay all right we'll throw that back down i wish i could put things down correctly but that seems an impossible task for me because all i could do is throw it and then it just starts going wherever well we should have put it next to the fire all right you know what on top of these boxes there that great great job um all right we have a microwave nothing in there we're just checking everything Ooh, stocked up on some food baby uh what else do we got we got dishes somebody didn't do the dishes before they left what an asshole who was the last person here talk to their manager uh what does it say iron bark fire department all lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests at the lookout. System password is iron bark tower number. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Request comm support. Call John. Send photos to Mitch. Call Billy. Call John tomorrow 2 p.m. Uh, and what does that say? Ask for extra supplies next week. Okay, and I can't open any of this stuff. We're just trying to figure out everything. It looks like we can use all of these devices, right? And I can kind of read. I see Gold Lake there, and I see old radio tower. I can kind of start to read that map. All right, and then this is all the equipment. Ooh, spicy. All right, space to get up. All right, hold on. What is this, though? Uh, an Osborne Firefinder. It's like a giant compass size of a pizza. A giant compass. Okay. Wait, size of a pizza. What was the next thing it said after that? We use it to spot the fire on the map. Okay, I have never heard of this device before, and I'm probably too stupid to use it. What is this? All right. Oh, bino be binoculars. Okay. Used to spot a fire on the map. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. How do I open... Why... If this is a fire lookout, why are all the windows boarded up? Like, for real. Hold on. It's almost... I haven't made my report. Let's try looking in on this tower. The lights are still on over there. Whoa, the sensitivity, dude. Okay. Wow, you could get pretty zoomed in. This is pretty cool. I just see a lot of bugs. All right. Yeah, why? Oh, you can open them. Okay. I was about to say, shouldn't you be able? It's a fire lookout, but you could close them for like nighttime, I assume. All right. Cool. Um, What else we got going on here? Let's see. We should probably try to... Let's put these these down for now. Not on the floor. There we go. What is this is a compass, right? Right mouse button to use and it tells you, oh no, it tells me longitude and latitude. It's probably a name for this. I don't know. I don't know exactly what that is. All right. Uh use RMB to throw knots. Oh, does this tell me wind speed? Oh, this is pretty dope. Hold on. Let's let's test this. It tells me wind speed, right? 17 knots right now. That's that's a pretty steady wind, isn't it? All right, there's also a supply thing down there that we haven't explored, but I'm supposed to report in. Okay. Now that we've somewhat familiarized ourselves, let's do our report. Let's see. Let's see what's crack a lagging. What do we do here? That, that. Let's turn on the computer. All right. Ooh. We're on DOS, bro. Holy shit. This is a throwback. Starting Rainbow 98. <laughs> All right. So the password is uh, Ironbark11, right? We read that. Hey, look at that. We're using Rainbow 98 Professional, dude. Good stuff, man. All right. Consoleplague.exe. There is a game on here. Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. 
here to help you make the most of your computer today. Clickety clack. <laughs> Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. Antarctica is the windiest continent on Earth, with some coastal areas experiencing winds reaching speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. Surprise, you found me. How can I assist you today? You're weird. Here's another random fact. The Grand Canyon in the United States is not only breathtaking, but also incredibly old. It's estimated to be around 6 million years old. Good evening, Tower 11. How's your day going? Now, that's kind of weird that you know what tower it is, because this seems old school. All right, let's do employee training. Let's watch. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. What the fuck? You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is, it may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. So-called scientists. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. <laughs> so don't be too ashamed NASA. if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities <laughs> and notify them of the predicament immediately. Crew Ranger Dan. Oh, pee pee poo poo Joe. What is that the guy? Is that the little animated character? So I don't know how many people caught this, but I am a thousand percent sure that the voice actor for this little video is Jack Septicai. You don't know who Jack Septicai is? He's a fellow massive YouTuber, just as big as Markiplier, for instance. Um, but anyway, yeah, it seems that he was uh, given this voice acting part in this. So that's pretty cool. Neat little Easter egg. So that was definitely Jack Septicai, though. I'd know that voice anywhere. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What's on the flash drive? Plant interview, Ro Ross, and Cats. All right, well, we got to watch Cats, right? These, and these things are so loud. Gotta turn it down even more, dude. What is this? <laughs> Who made this? There's no maximize. It's just like a video with cats. This is great. I get such hardcore 90s vibes from this. Not just this video, but like, you know, game in general. It's great. I love it. Yo, look at those evil demon eyes, dude. 
I feel like I, we've talked about this before. I'm allergic to cats or like deathly allergic last time I checked, which means last time I petted a cat and had to go to the hospital. But um, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've tried. But, uh, uh, you know, cats are still cute to me. But at the same time, maybe it's because of my allergy and I know that they're like little death balls to me. They look like I feel like they just look like they have otherworldly knowledge and it's just it's creepy, right? Sometimes, right? All right, Ro Ross, what's this? Hi, everyone. I'm oh my Ron God, it's Bob Ross. Ross. And I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. Testicular green? What the fuck? My wife. I love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. This is creepy Oops. as hell. That's the wrong brush. That's my needle. I'll save that for later. That's my needle. Oh, there it is. The basting brush. This <laughs> brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. What? This is where I buried the bodies. This is you where I would look good here. A nice happy cabin right there. <laughs> Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife with a squirrel. Enough about me. What the fuck? Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. <laughs> Forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's my needle. I'll save that for later. Jesus Christ, dude. Well, this is uh, whose flash drive is this? And we are back. So, how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? <laughs> Fascinating. What do you do for a living? It's literally a uh -huh. plant interview. Yeah. How does that work? <laughs> what wow. The, what the hell? Everyone's been wondering how's the marriage with the wife? That's the marriage. What the <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. <laughs> Sir, calm down. He looks pretty calm. What did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? Here, you piece of shit. Technical difficulties, please stand by. Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, I don't understand. This is weird. Like... None of those were super creepy, except maybe the Ro Ross one, but, um, or Ro was that supposed to be Rob Ross? Is that what that is? I can't tell if that's a B or an H. It looks like an, a lowercase H to me, but Rob Ross would make a little bit more sense. All right, what else do we have here? We have console commands. We have, let's play the little mini game. Plague. Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies and have a blast. Good luck and aim for the head. All right, I can't make this window any bigger. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. I didn't expect to actually be dropped. I'm having some trouble because the sensitivity is so high. Whoa, dude. Filter him. Get shot. Oh! Dude, this is badass, man. Dude, this is... There was a flag game in, I think, Carson House, if I remember. But it was nowhere as involved as this. This is dope. The sensitivity is way too high, though. I can't, I can't aim properly, which is why I'm missing so much. And I can't... And I don't think there's an in-game adjustment for it. God, I can't even hit that close. I might be dead here. I might be dead here. Oh, yeah. Headshot. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, my God. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Holy shit. Score 90. All right, we can do better than that. I'll get used to the high sensitivity eventually. You can actually jump and everything. Headshot. This music is badass too, dude. This is this is awesome. 
I did not expect this. He's really up in his game when it comes to uh, the little side stuff included in this. Headshot. Headshot. I haven't been hit yet. Yeah, buddy. Did I kill them all? No way. Did I kill? Nope. Why is he trying to hit that? Headshot. You can't reload on your own. So it's just two shots from like what I assume is a double barrel shotgun and then you're shit out of luck. All right, let's go upstairs. There's got to be more Zambies, right? Somewhere. Nothing here. Did I kill everybody? My high score right now is 105. I feel like I hear some zombies, but I don't see said zombies. I hear like a boss. I hear like somebody like evil laughing. Oh my God. How can I not hit this guy? Jesus Christ, dude. All right, I got hit right there. Oh man, the hit marker is off, dude. I don't know how to do this. Got him? Maybe you get a higher score with headshots, right? I knew I heard one more zombie. That can't be it though, right? Got him. Oh, does that blow up and kill zombies? They're standing still, I can get them. That's right on his head. That is on his body too. How is it missing? Is it too far? Is that what it is? Gotcha, bitch. I don't know what this does. Oh, that was a nad. That was a good shot, dude. That was good. What happens if I blow this? Ow. Gotcha. Fuck you. Okay, this doesn't blow up. Nope, doesn't blow up. Okay. I thought those red barrels would blow up, man. That doesn't blow up either. Okay. Let's reset this. I don't know where we're going. What are we doing down here, dude? We're just going to keep going. Headshot. I, I'm doing two shots just to like... Ooh, are we back in the house? Headshot. I'm doing two shots just to reload. Depending on my situation. All right, I've killed all the zombies here. This goes back down. Yeah, I'm kind of getting the hang of the aim now. It's a little bit off, but I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, okay. Got him. Headshot! Headshot! I love that. It's like... <laughs> it's like it reminds me of Halo. Flag captured. Flag dropped. You know. Big Halo fan. Ooh, got that guy standing still. Got that guy. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at me. Pro FPS player over here. Oh, nope, not so pro. Headshot. Gotta lead him a little bit. Can you actually beat this? <laughs> Is this beatable? Oh, I'm back here. Okay, I've been here. I've killed all the zombies here. I still hear someone laughing. Do they respawn? Is that what happens? Yeah, I did not expect this side diversion. This is dope. Are there more bad people? I need more bad people, please. I need more zombies. I hear you. Uh, is that zombies or is that something else? This is a very, like, I get, like, Castle Wolfenstein vibes from this. I still hear the laughs. I think I've killed everybody. I think I killed everybody. 
Huh. Did I miss a zombie somewhere? There, there is... Uh, I mean, it's a high score game, right? I, w I would expect it just to keep respawning, but that might be too much to ask to have that in a game like this. I don't know what to do. Can I, like, shoot these? Huh. Did I glitch it? I, I, I hear somebody saying brains. Yeah. Is that just the background ambience, per perhaps, per chance? Per cheesy? Well, if you if I'd gotten all headshots, I would have a much higher score. I think I've killed everybody, though. I think I legitimately rocked it, and I killed everything. I have secured the house. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's just background ambience. Okay. What a, what a neat little inclusion in the game, though. This is dope. And it controls very good. The aiming's a little bit off. The hit mark, hitbox is a little bit off, but that's okay. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't mean to get all the way out of the computer. Interesting. Does it still say my high score if I go back in? Uh, looks like you're right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's look at the trail map before we do our... Oh, so now I can actually see... All right, this is the Ironbark State Park trail map. Whether you're planning to hike, assisting hikers, or just want to explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help. All right. So we have a legend. <clears throat> Dotted line is a trail. That's a river, road, parking, toilets, viewpoint, shelter camp, picnic site, fire tower. Okay. We got Eagle Peak Trail to Arches, Lake Josephine, Tamarack, Mount Misery, Gold Creek Trail. Mount Misery sounds terrible. Uh, where's my... What are the towers again? Okay, I see them. Two Tower 12 is that way. Tower 11. So I am right here by Gold Lake. So he told me don't go north more than like... What did he say? Half a mile or a mile or two or something? So I shouldn't go up Lacey Trail. I shouldn't go up that way. I shouldn't go towards Gold Creek itself. For some reason. Never said why. Cracker Lake. <laughs> God damn it. Goat Lake, Granite Pass, uh, Granite Pass, Hidden Lake. Okay. I don't think you're going to be able, we would be able to go to all of these, but I don't know. Console, what can we do? Console, all right, it's reserved for command information. Type help. Let's type help. Oh, I want to type in here. Help. Available commands. Checks for available system update. Oh, we are supposed to uh, do system updates. Remember, no system update available. Checks for current version. Let's do that. C-H-K-V-E-R. Current version is 2.0.7. Update. Install system update with package codes. Let's type update. No update. We already knew that. And exit closes the console. There we go. All right. So we should do our report. Ready to wield some digital magic with console? Type help to see the list of commands. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Let's do our report. Today's date. Uh, I actually don't know what today's date is. It is a... Uh-oh. Static, static. Oh I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jack, baby. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. I'm Who is Connor, this? Fire Tower 12. Nice. You were watching? Job, but had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change, baby. I'm a transfer from I'm Iron Horse. Comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm just gonna say I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I need to file my report though. Uh, I don't know what the temperature was. The wind speed was 17. The weather was. Oh God, I can't do that yet. Number of hikers assisted reported by. Okay, hold on. All right. I need to get I a fire. See the smoke. Did you light it up yet? No. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Okay. I would love to. Where's the wood? Why is there beeping? There's no firewood? firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? Never who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, 
not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay, so there is gas. Maybe I should go put gas in the generator. And then, um, also, I need to get some, uh... I need to get some wood, right? Nah, dude, I'm gonna get jump scared here. I know I am. I know it's coming. Not ready for it. How do I fill this up? Okay, I guess I don't. Alright, hold on. I need to take this back up. Then, I guess. Because I can't carry... Sometimes you can't carry multiple things. So I should take it back up. Um, I should also close this door because I don't want to be an idiot. Don't want to let something in like a bear or a serial killer coming from the burger shack following me. Fucking asshole. How many hikers assisted? I don't want to assist any hikers, bro. All right. Oh, yeah. There's tons of wood out here. What is this? That looks important. Ooh, what else is in here? Anything else? This little shack. There's binoculars here. And a flashlight. And more matches. More bear spray. More wind knot thing. Bunch of stuff. And there's wood. Okay. I got some. Go throw some in the stove. I swear to God, if something gets me right now, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. All right. The stove is just open, or the shack is just open, though. They couldn't be bothered to put doors on it or, you know, they'll close the window areas up. Anybody here? Nope. I feel safe knowing that I can open the door and see everything immediately. You know what I mean? All right. Um, we're gonna open this. And we're gonna left mouse button to use. Do I need to put some gas in there? This is dumb. The wood should light. You should not need to put gas. But we're gonna do it. This is really... Don't do this in real life, kids. This is how you, uh... This is how you really, uh... This is how you set the house on fire. There's gas right there. Alright, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I had to put gas in there. That would set the whole place on fire. I see it. I see the smoke. Nice. Good shit. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Not yet. Not yet, man. All right, hold on. He's walking me through what to do. Did you report for the night yet? No. Better get to it then. Yep. Here at Iron Park, you are required to report every night. But you don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. I'm not gonna screw Mitch, man. All right, I need to know the temperature. How do I get the temperature? I have this for wind knots, but it only does wind like, okay, hold on. 17, right? Yep, yep, 17. All right, we've done that. How do I get the temperature though? Um, suspend, refuel the generator, update the reporting software. We did that, no video games in the system, although I already did that. Um, how do I do the temperature? This? It's a giant compass. That's not the temperature. Like, like, seriously. The, it, I don't see a temperature gauge. Is there a temperature gauge in here somewhere? And I'm just stupid. Oh, look, it's Smokey the Bear! Repeat after me. Only you. Smokey. Oh, Smokey the Bear. That's an American thing. I don't know if not American friends, if anybody watches this outside of America, in our state parks here, or in our national parks, and our forestry service, which is responsible for upkeeping the parks, they have a mascot called Smokey the Bear. He's a bear who wears a forestry service uniform, that little hat that says Smokey. And he's famous for these campaigns in the 90s and early 2000s and even before that. And uh, it was like, only you can prevent forest fires. So, and you talk like about, you know, if you're out camping or you're in a state park, right? Like clean up after yourself and take care of the land and all that good jazz so Smokey's a cool dude everybody likes Smokey we got a radio I don't want the radio on though I just need to know oh the temperature okay so it appears okay Fahrenheit's on the left Celsius on the right and so for me as an American it appears it's right below 50 degrees right so right below it's between 5 and 10 degrees Celsius looks like it's about 45 degrees maybe uh, I would say 45 degrees roughly 
So let's report that. All right. I think we have everything we need for the report. Right? No, I need to know what's the weather outside. I'm an idiot. God damn it. All right. Hold on. We got to go look at the sky. <laughs> uh, uh, there's some clouds. Would you consider that cloudy, though? I wouldn't really consider that cloudy because they're very sparse. I don't know, though. It might be what it wants. Let's see. Okay, let's report this. So the temperature in Fahrenheit. Ooh, it was like 45 is what we're going to put. That's where it was roughly. 17 knots. Yeah. Condition, cloud, mist, clear, wind, rain, heat, waves. I'm going to say clear because you can still see the moon and the sun. There were just some cloud cover and that's what the picture looks like. I'm going to say number of hikers, zero, because we didn't help anybody. And then my name, what is my name again? <laughs> I'm going to just put Jack, because that was my, that was my character's name, right? Something didn't look right. All right, I'm going to try Cloudy. Ooh, okay. Um, I've forgotten my name. Hold on, it's in, hold on. Let's, let's double check our name. I feel like an idiot for doing this. It's in our text messages with Kayla, right? Jack Nelson. Okay. Nielsen. Nielsen. Sorry. Nielsen. Jack Nielsen. Service report. Jack Nielsen. Something didn't look right. Okay. The wind is definitely 17 knots. I haven't helped anybody today. I don't think I'm supposed to because it's too late. I'm supposed to report before the end of the night. So it's either the weather condition or, oh, it's windy. It's windy. I'm an idiot. It's windy. Something still doesn't look right. Well, it is windy. Um, it's not thunderstorming. It's not a heat wave. It's none of that. So I think it's wind. So I've got the temperature wrong. All right. Let's look at the temperature gauge again. Temperature was 45.6. Oh, you can click on it. Oh, thank God. Okay. I'm just stupid. <laughs> it's 45.6 you need to be precise okay all right so you just had to do exact temperature okay i wasn't sure if i put in the right weather condition god damn it <laughs> so is it it's it's clear right all right there we go we did it Ooh, service reporting me, new guy. whoa 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 yeah right I here think i'm gonna sign off for the day all right man you do that. Tower 12, signing off. Tower 12, signing Have off. Night, new guy. Have a good night. Don't want the bed bugs bite. Hey, what bed bugs, man? What did you do? Did you prank me? Uh, good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Yep. Uh, so, I'm curious. <laughs> Can I game out here? We got a gaming system, man. I need some Vidya games before I... All right. I guess there's nothing else to do but to go to sleep, right? So, we should turn out the light. And we should go nighty night. Na na motherfucker. We're gonna wake up in the middle of the night to something weird. This happens in every single one of these games. Yep, 326 AM. Aw oh, shit, dude. It's progressively gonna get worse. Unintelligible. 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 Alright, can I turn this on? I'm gonna turn my light on. I had to pee. Static. Connor? Nope, nothing. All right, where do I go pee at? I don't know what I'm, where I'm supposed to pee. Am I supposed to go outside? I don't want to go outside, dude. I do not want to fucking go outside. I'm going to tell you that right now. All right. I guess I have no other option, right? On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. God damn it, dude. I don't want to... His lights are out, right? Where's where's his cabin again? It's back there. I see it. It's back there. I don't want to be... I'm going to be honest. I don't... Oh, I can't go down here? Where am I supposed to pee? I'm just supposed to pee off the side? Like, no, legitimately. Where am I supposed to, to pee? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could, right? I could just hang it out over the railing and just... But, like, that seems... Uh, weird. Alright. 
I, I, I don't understand. There's nowhere to pee in here. I just go to back to bed. I still had to pee. Well, yeah, no shit, but there's... It wouldn't let me leave. All right, hold on. We're taking binoculars and we're looking at that guy's cabin. Or cabin. I keep saying cabin. Uh, fire tower. His light's off, right? But that makes sense. He should be sleeping. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. So I think we're okay from that perspective. I just don't understand where I'm supposed to use the bathroom at. Like, hold on. Let me try to go down again. Oh, I gotta get close my door. Press space to pee. Oh, I'm just gonna pee. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I said. Yep. I'm peeing off the side. <laughs> I can move my street. That's hilarious. Pa, 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 pa. Get the space invaders away. God, why do I have to pee for so long, dude? Space to get back. All right. I don't like that sound, man. I don't like that sound. This is terrifying. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be real honest. We gotta turn the lights out. That's what we're supposed to do. Go back to sleep. All right, it was 326. I don't think we're gonna wake up again tonight. Night two. Oh, we've skipped ahead to night two. It's just you and the wind and the time just melts away. Oh, coffee. Or is this, this is morning, right? Or is it about to be night again? It's so, it's gorgeous out here. Take a photo. Don't mind if I do. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful, dude. No, we're going to take a photo over here. We can zoom in. No, we're going to leave it zoomed out. My God, what a view. Wow. Is that the river that I'm not supposed to cross? I think so. Wow. Take another photo. We're going to take a photo this time with the radio tower and everything in it. You know, if it wasn't so trippy being out all alone, this is definitely during the daytime. I would, I would enjoy, I think, this isolation and stuff if it wasn't so goddamn scary. I'm gonna put that. You copy? Yeah, man. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me put this in the sink, dude. I'm gonna sit down. I'll talk to you. Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy that, Connor. Connor what's bitch. up? Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Uh, let me have a look. Let me get up and have a look. North of my position. I don't know where north is. No one bothers to get a camping permit. Yes! Alright, the smoke was white. Indicative, indicative of a campfire. I do. I see said smoke. Yep, white, indicative of a campfire. Okay. I need you to confirm. Yeah. Do you see that smoke up north? Yes, I do. I was just going to confirm, dude. Calm down. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. Lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Yeah, okay. Heading north, I'll report back on it. Yes, do you have any other detail? I'm going to ask if he has any other detail. No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Stay safe. Heading out north, I'll report back. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. <clears throat> Don't forget to carry your bear spray. Okay. Uh, should I take a flashlight? I feel like, no, I can't because I can only have bear spray in my hands. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to get attacked by a bear, aren't we? <laughs> I'm going to get attacked by a bear, dude. <sighs> I want to turn my light on, too, before I go. All right, here we go. I'll be honest, I am not ready for this. I am not ready. Dude, getting attacked by a bear would be horrifying. All right, we need to go to Lacey Trail, right? Which, if I remember correctly, it's back down this way, right as the bridge where we cross the water, right before it, right? And we're gonna, we'll be turning a left, I think, coming this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Lacy Trail, 3.2 miles. Okay, we're going this way. Yep, bear sign. Oh, lovely. Caution, bears in area. 8.37 p.m.? Okay, I was only going 3.2 miles. I don't have a flashlight. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Oh, God. I wanted to bring a flashlight so bad. That doesn't sound good. I don't like that at all, dude. What the fuck was that, man? What the fuck? No camping violators will be sighted. She gives the best head. And then there's a bunch of people hanging. And uh, I love Jen. Oh my god, this is not good. Somebody screamed over here. Now the smoke is black. Oh shit, dude. Tower 11. Frequency, closest tower. Reply, I just got signal? Alright, uh... Okay, oh, alright, oh Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, oh wow, yes. I'm on my way home. Send it to you in a bit. Sorry, just got home. Pizza, pasta, bake, ingredients. I hear somebody. We will have to read those text messages later. Dude. <laughs> I had to put it out. Okay, in a minute. What does this say? Emergency closure. Trail obstructed. Trail... I don't like the noises I'm hearing, bro. Dude, I have uh oh my god, flashlight. Can I not pick that up? I mean, I guess it's not mine, right? So the game doesn't want me to pick it up, but holy fuck. There's a radio here. A bunch of stuff. God damn, at least there's a light right there. I gotta put it out. So take the water. I gotta put my bear spray down. I don't like this, dude. <laughs> this is the worst, man had to get water to put it out okay gotta get water from the river i'm gonna shit my fucking pants oh this is a little lake i'm gonna sh i'm gonna sh shit my pants dude i'm gonna shit my pants oh my god please stop please stop blacking the screen out and then coming back god damn it dude what am i supposed to do what am I supposed to do now? Just go back? Alright, I'm gonna walk up to this trail one more time. <sighs> I am gonna lose. I'm gonna I'm gonna freak out, dude. I can't. That's <laughs> Okay. Alright, I'm having a minute. There's nothing else here. Uh, can I take the flashlight? No, I can't. I have bear spray, though. There's nothing else here. I put the fire out. Let's just go. There's nothing else to do but to leave. <sighs> I'm about to panic. Dude, this game has me... This game... I hate this, dude. I wouldn't... I would never be out here by myself. 907. Please tell me I made it back. So as I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Um... Dude, I am not ready for this. Okay, at least we didn't have to walk that far back. I'm I am scared shitless right now, bro. Nobody better be in my tower. I will lose my fucking mind if somebody is up here. I'm starting to feel safe again though. The weather, it looks very cloudy. Almost sounds thunderstormy. Nobody's in here. Why is everything open? to report to Connor about the vacate campsite. All right, we're putting all this down, though. I don't want to see what's out here. Except those two we can't put down. Yeah, but I got to close up shop for the night, dude. That's interesting. You can't close it. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Oh, God. I got to report to him. I wish, can I lock the fucking door for the love of God? All right, we're gonna report to him. Connor, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you Bobby copy? Guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? 
talk about campsite? No, I'm not kidding you, man. Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? Time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention scream. A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. I'm gonna say it was a manly scream, because it was. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? Ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What happened to the kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle let them off the trail. It's unbelievable. Some whistle? People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Oh, no. Thank it's you. Crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Do you guy? I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Uh, I'm going to say no, because I think I do. <laughs> anyway, no. thanks for staying vigilant. We yeah, man. We contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. All right, I'm going to say keep me up there. That sounds... I'll personally make okay. sure. Over and out. Guy sounds a little extreme. All right, I'm going to have to do my report, right? I got to do my report. So I need the wind. Sp I need the temperature. 47.1. I need the wind speed. Oh, I got to read the ca I got to read Kayla's text messages. Not delivered. Okay, hold on. Let's catch up on the text messages. Pizza, pasta, bake, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Place all the ingredients in casserole. Bake at 420. Bake for 30 to 45 minutes. Enjoy. That sounds good as hell. You will not be believe how easy this one is to throw together. Did you reach yet? Send pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything is okay. Reply back when you see this. I'm sorry, Kay. I don't think my sector has very good service. Sent a couple of pictures. View from my tower. And thanks for the recipe. Might try it tonight. Oh, so I'm so jelly of that view. By the way, look what I got home to. Ooh, the pizza pasta bake. Mom made the same casserole recipe today. Nom, nom, nom. Hee <laughs> hee. That's awesome. Looking at that photo makes my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try that recipe now. Oh, so I'm supposed to cook myself dinner? Well, shouldn't I do my report first? I'm going to do my report first, and I'm going to make dinner. 18. Wind speed is 18. It looks very cloudy and overcast, okay? And the temperature was 47.1, right? All right, let's do our report. All right. Forty-seven point one, wind speed in knots was eighteen. I'm gonna say it's cloudy. Number of hikers assisted zero because we didn't actually see those hikers. Report submitted by Jack Nelson. Submit. All right, there we go. So towers four, six, and seven have not reported yet. Ten is not reported yet. Connor has reported. I have reported. Connor reported six minutes before me. How is it over a degree better at his? I reported clear. I did not. I reported cloudy. He reported cloudy. Hikers assisted zero, zero. Connor assisted one. Okay. All right. Report submitted. We are good to go. Has this changed at all? Let's see. I wanted to, I just want to see if this is different. It seems like it's not. I'm dead. <laughs> All right, it w it's not changed. It's the same game. I was just curious. All right, let's check for an update. We're supposed to check for updates, right? Let's get the commands again here. Let's see, help. All right, let's check for update. No system update. All right, so we're good. We got to type exit to close. All right, we've done our due diligence. Okay. Oh, you can turn the assistant off. I got you. All right, so we got to make a pizza pasta bake. Uh, all right, we need ingredients, right? 
C to crouch. All right, so we need a pepperon. Uh, I need a I need a thing to put it in though, right? G throw. Let's get our ingredients up here. We got the pepperon. What else do we need? Oh, that's vegetables and stuff. I do not need that. Let's put that back in there. Uh, we need tomatoes, right? Hold on. Let's look at the recipe again. I need uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and diced tomatoes. Okay, so uh, uncooked pasta is right here, right? We need marinara sauce right there, right? Um, mozzarella. Mozzarella. Here we go. What else do I need? So I got uncooked pasta, marinara, pepperoni, mozzarella. I need the dust of the tomatoes. Dust of the tomatoes. Marinara and diced tomatoes. Interesting. All right, I need some sort. Oh, I have the I have the dish right here. So we just gotta put everything in, right? Gonna put the pepperonis, and then we're gonna put the diced tomatoes, and then we're gonna put the marinara, and then we put the, the cheese, and then we take it, and we put it in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, will it just turn green when it's done? What else am I supposed to do here? How do I know? You there? Yeah, I'm here, man. You guy. I copy, dude. Calm down. We need to give people a chance to answer. What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. What did they say? Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Oh, that's relieving. Track them down and give them peace of mind. Tell you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's a okay. tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thanks, Connor. Go over 12. Signing off. Good night, Connor. All right, he's out. Oh, that was a quick 30 to 45 minutes. Just throw it down right there. That looks good. I liked eating in bed. Am I just going to take this whole thing and eat in bed? I am, I guess. It says sleep, though. I'm going to turn off the light. I'm going to eat in the dark in my bed. It's a terrible idea, dude. Space to get up. I'm just eating. I took the hot pan straight out of the oven and I'm just eating from it. <laughs> this is this man is crazy. Talk about roughing it, dude. You don't need fingers. Just burn them off, bro. I was already full. OK, so space to get up. We're going to put it back, right? Ooh, why was I turned around? I'm turning my light back on. I don't like being in the dark in here, even though I could have kept it in the fridge. Okay, well, let's do that then. Fine. How do I... I'm going to put it in the fridge. Oh, and I can put this back too. My hands were full. I want to just put it in the fridge, dude. There we go. All right. Good shit. Time to go to bed. Time to go to sleep, I think. It was getting cold. Thought I thought I'd get wood stove lit. Oh, I need more wood. I got to go out and get more wood. I don't want to do that, dude. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be real honest. I don't want to do this. We got to, though. We need wood. Something's going to happen. I'm going to fucking lose my mind. There better not be anybody here. You threw what off the tower? Did I miss a line? I'm so scared. I'm so scared, dude. I'm so scared. I hear stuff. I can't get back. Get back, dude. Get back. Get back. I don't know what it means. I threw it off the tower. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I don't like this at all, dude. I don't like this. We got to start getting wood during the daylight. Nobody's in here, right? Okay, thank God. I feel a little bit better. I feel a little bit better. All right, we're going to place the wood in the stove. We're going to turn our flashlight off. Needed to light it up. Yeah, I know. I know how this works. 
We gotta put some gasoline. Uh, right? Make sure we pour some on the floor. Right? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Throw a match in there. Close that. Close this up. Oop, I didn't mean to throw another match down, but it's okay. And then we gotta throw those right up there. Always keep your matches on top of the hot stove. It makes the most sense. Uh, I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. I had closed those. I closed those. Did I not? Pretty sure I closed those. Why are they open? Don't know, Skip. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I had closed all of them. I don't like this at all. I, it, tonight's the night, guys. The first, the first fucked up thing's gonna happen tonight. I can't do this, man. I can't do this game. 2.27 a.m. I was awoken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. There's somebody outside right there. There's somebody outside right there. He's casting a shadow from where the computer is, dude. <gasps> there was somebody outside. There was somebody outside, bro. I don't want to open the door. <gasps> what the fuck? <gasps> oh shit, motherfucker! There's chapters. Oh my god. Okay, so listen, I know what I just did may have appeared to be really stupid, but my thought was that that was what I was supposed to do to progress, because normally I don't think you can get killed immediately, but I was completely wrong, right? Okay, there's some cult bitch. There's some cult guy. He's walking around. <gasps> He's building some kind of altar. What the fuck, dude? What is he doing? What is he doing? This is not okay, bro. What happens? If I'm going to turn on the light. Still doing it. All right, the music is gone. I feel like I need to check the altar now. He's gone. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. It's got a pentagram on it. It's like a deer skull or something. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. All right, I'm gonna try to. What the fuck is this? Connor, do you copy? I'm gonna say, wake up. I need to talk to you, it's urgent. Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? Yeah, man. Uh, there's something here. Uh, there's something outside my door. Wait until morning. Mention the skull. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these are kids messing around. What if this is not a prank? I'm gonna say, what if this is not a prank? These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. You watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. I'm gonna say this is serious. You don't understand, do you? Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. I'm just gonna say good night. This is insane. Connor didn't make any sense. But there's not much else I could have done in the dark. Can I lock my door? This is fucked, dude. What was that? That was some guy in like ritual robes and he was setting up like an altar or something. Night three. 
Dude, this is not okay. The next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in these woods. 8.34 p.m. So it's not quite nighttime yet. Am I... I can't move. I can't walk, so it wants me to use the binoculars. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower. Okay. Hold left mouse button to clean. Yeah, why are my binoculars so dirty? They weren't like this. I just used these and they weren't... <gasps> There's a flare. My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Somebody's shooting off flares. Why? Why is somebody shooting off flares? And there's a strange red light coming from over there. Okay, can I move yet? Why can't I move? I don't... This is very unsettling. Space to get up. Oh, was I like setting down or something? Can we look in on tower 12? His place looks very bright. All right, I'm going to start closing up because I don't like the idea of anybody being able to look in on me at all, dude. Not my style, bro. Not my style one bit. So somebody sent up a flare. Why? Eh, why? Eh, squeeze at me. Uh-oh, is Connor dead? I need help. Please, someone answer. All right. This is fucked, dude. This is all kinds Hello? of fucked. Can anyone hear me? This is Jack, Ch Tower 12. Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. Okay, what's going on? I, I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. Uh, what's your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Alright, I'm gonna say, do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Okay, what direction are you facing I'm right now? I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Okay, let me scan the map and get back to you. Why is that noise being made? I hear whistling. There's somebody outside. Uh, hello? Uh, are, are both of these trails seem pretty... Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. Yeah, dude, there's something outside of my cabin. I can see it moving through the things right there. All right, hold on. Uh, I can't look at the map here. Okay, I should look at the map on the computer, right? I'm fucked, dude. I am so fucked. I am so fucked. Yeah, what trail? He remembered towers. He's at an intersection. There was a small stream. Where's a stream? Lake Josephine, Gold Creek, what, what a river. It would be like a river. Uh, Mount Misery, Gold Creek Trail. Pass, a small stream, Split Rock, Gold Ridge Trail, Florence Cracker, Granite Pass. He might eventually like to make the make his decide to make his own move. I don't know where he's at. Okay, he's at an intersection. If he should take the right or the left. He could be around Gold Creek. And he wants to get back to his trailhead and parking. Uh, I don't know where to tell him to go. He wants to get back to his truck, right? So there has to be a parking. The only parking is right here and right here. And this looks like a small stream. So he should take 
He's facing west, right? So he's facing this way. He's going west. He's going west, he said. If he's going west, it's trailhead, he should take the left. He should go left, I think. I, 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 I don't know. Trail intersection. Take the left. I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Uh, making decisions in the dark. You're welcome. I'm right here. I hear you. What? I hear your whistles. That's not me. That's not me. That's what? not me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me, bro. You're freaking me out. Someone's outside my... You hear my whistles? I'm going to open it because it looks like a park ranger. Holy moly. What took you so long in there? I was assisting a lost hiker, just finishing up on report and other matters. I'm going to say I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here just for the usual essentials. Uh, here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Take supplies. You're creepy, dude. Is this Billy from the gatehouse? What were you doing here last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Just getting used to the new environment. Mention the skull. I don't trust this guy. I think this guy might be in on it because he keeps telling me not to go up there. He seems suspicious. He's a sussy baka. Mention the skull. Just getting used to the new environment. I'm going to mention it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning up? I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Thanks for this. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. That's Billy from the gatehouse. Thanks for the supplies. That asshole? Something's wrong with him. Like, he's part of this. He is 100% part of this. All right, I need to make my report. Temperature, 55.7. That's not bad. What's our wind looking like right now? Let's look. Am I still crouched? Yeah, I was. Wind is 27 knots. Wow. It is wind day, boy. 27 knots. God damn. All right. Let's make our report first before we do anything else. Let's just get it out of the way. You know what I mean? Let's say service reporting. Uh, what is it? Oh, was it? Wait, it was like 55.7. Hold on. Shit. I got to check again. 55.7. I was right. I should have just trusted my instincts, dude. All right. 55.7. The wind in knots was 27. I'm going to say it's clear. Because it is. It's clear. Hikers assisted one. Report by Jack Nelson. Submit. I wasn't sure if I'd put in the right weather condition. Okay. It's windy because the wind is the highest we've ever seen it. Submit. Report submitted. Interesting. Connor hasn't submitted yet. Okay. Not a lot of people have, but I feel like I'm a little early. I'm a little early with my... Oh, I should check for an update. It keeps telling you to check for an update, so I'm going to check for an update. Help? Or, I mean, not that it keeps telling me, but that's what you're supposed to do, right? I'm, 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 I'm going to... Command not recognized. Oh, it was C-H-K. U-P-D. No system update available. Okay. All right. Exit out of the computer. Get up. What's the last thing to do? Go start a fire, right? So we're going to go get some firewood. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of to do right now. 
and do it before it gets too dark, right? Close the door behind us. The skull is gone, by the way. I don't know if anybody else. I was too hungry. Oh, I need to make food. Okay. Eat the rest of that pizza bake, probably. Just warm it back up in the oven. Okay. I could do that. Or heat it up in the microwave. I just heat it in the microwave, right? Yeah. You cooked that pizza bake, bitch. Woo-woo. Dude, this is fucking... I wish I could close the... Uh, well, I guess there's no shutter because there's, like, a, the power box thing out there. And they want you to be able to see out a couple windows, I guess, at all times. But, dude. I liked eating in bed. Yeah, we've already been over this, man. This is so dumb. I can hide under the bed now? Bro. Bro. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. This pizza base looks so good, though. Cheese-wise, dude. It looks so good. Okay, we got to put this in the sink. So we'll get up. Oh, man. It's only... See, I know I'm getting toward near the end of the game or I'm well past halfway. And that just tells me that shit is going to get so bad. And I, 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 I'm not ready for it. I, I think the I got to start a fire. Now would be the time to go to go get the fire stuff, right? Go get wood? Has to be. Yep, now's the time to go get wood. I'm going to lose my mind. This is the worst. Coming out of the tower to do anything is 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 just fuck it, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, who the fuck are you? You just gave me a heart attack. Who are you? What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi, the new guy, the new guy everyone's talking about. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. What the fuck does that mean, weirdo? Your face is fucking weird. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Right. We rely on information about the fire sightings. I would say I agree. Fire risks are high this season. Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What the fuck does that mean, dude? What do you mean? Nature has its own plan. Some things cannot be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. What the hell, dude? What the hell? You know what? <laughs> I am not okay with this i am not okay i just realized too my heart rate monitor was off for a little bit sorry about that guys i think it was just stuck showing one heart rate my apologies who away for the land i should head back to the tower it's getting late i'll see you around silas um i i'm gonna say i'll see you around silas because he's gonna say something creepy back have a good night jack hope you sleep well but remember Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. That sounds like a threat, dude. Farewell, Jack. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. He really does. He's just wandering off into the forest by himself. You know, fuck that shit, bro. I swear to God, that guy's a fucking... That, what a psychopath. He doesn't look like the same guy from the diner. I think there's multiple people, right? Like, there's some sort of cult or something? Something, something, something isn't right. Like, obviously, but I mean, they, like, Connor seems a little off, but not too much. That guy, definitely off, 100%. And then, obviously, that hiker probably just died. So. Oh, my God, dude. Put the matches back up there. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. I'm in there. New guy. You there? Yeah, dude, I'm in here. Calm down. Of course I'm in here. Copy now. Right here. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? I'm gonna say ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? 
Oh no, dude. The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower? Just about yesterday. What do you mean? Trying to yank my chain now. What do you this mean? Radio tower has been out of service for eight years now. Oh, son of a bitch. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. I'm gonna say he knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Either way, this oh guy is a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Good night, over and out. This is all kinds of fucked, dude. All right, so I ate. I reported. I got firewood. It's time for bed. Oh, man. Shit is going to be messed up tonight. I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night again. I'm not ready for this. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later... Oh, joy. 9.18 p.m. Two guy. Whoa. You got a minute? Uh, sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Okay. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. How do I update? What is it about? I'm going to ask what it is about. Well, they say they've optimized the reporting software. Improved the communication system. And some much-needed security patches. If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. All right, I know how to well, update. Well, to be but... honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Sure. Uh, so are you supposed to be older, Connor? Because you sound pretty young, dude. Thanks, I got it. Thanks for letting me know. I'm on it. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks, I got it. All right, sure. I can do a system update, man. No problem. No, no, no fucking problem. I, I got this. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I, I can do this. Help. We're going to do check. Update. Three updates found in total. All right. Eula accepted package coach. Uh, What am I supposed to do here? All right. And then I'm supposed to update. I'm supposed to type update, right? There we go. Please enter the update package code. It is 4346084. Enter. Right? Enter. Package found looking for serviceable lines. All right. Serviceable lines. Please enter an active line. All right. Serviceable. So we can't use the last one or the first one. Can't use that one. It'd be 5487. 5487. Enter. Hey, your system is now up to... The generator ran out of fuel. I haven't gassed up the generator in a while. Power was out. It is raining like crazy, dude. I am not ready for this, guys. I have my entire, like, the back of my neck, my shoulders, and my legs are, like, I have goosebumps, and I'm, like, and, it, and I'm, like, tingling. Because I know this, this, this episodic series of games has jump-scared the shit out of me so much before, and I know it's going to happen again. I know that we haven't even seen the worst of it yet. I really had to pee before going back up. <clears throat> it was getting cold and I had to pee. Before going back up. Oh, just go in the porta potty? I forgot that this was down here. Oh, I can see out of.
why do they have a mic sensitivity volume thing here? Can I not wash my hands? I don't like that. I don't like why was there a mic sensitivity volume thing in the porta potty? One week later, I'm gonna I'm loosening it, guys. I'm loosening it. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2 34 a.m. Oh my god, dude. We got another one. Connor who hasn't been there. God damn it, dude. Don't expect me to leave this place at this time of night. Jack, you copy. Right here, Connor. Tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? man dude bro no thank you you know what i don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight i'm gonna let you deal with this one if they don't run away this time take their photos and ids and if things get worse don't hesitate to call hq for help update me tomorrow morning i'm gonna get some rest I'm supposed to walk out at 2.34 a.m. and tell them to knock this shit off? No thank you, sir. Where's the campfire? Oh, I see it. It's back down. What the hell? Wait, what? What the fuck, dude? One, two, three. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. It's like some sort of cult. Uh, how do I take evidence of it? A bunch of candles around it. What the fuck is that, dude? Jesus fucking Christ, man. It's a fucking cold. I do I have a camera? Do I have a camera? Take evidence of it. Like, what am I supposed to do legitimately? I need to tell him. I need to tell him. I need to tell Connor. Connor, get up. Oh, okay. He's not gonna help. Sure. Um, uh, I hear whistling. I'm uh, surely I am not supposed to go down there. They are obviously not doing anything good. Like, how do I take a picture? Take evidence of it. Like, I have my phone. It says no service. Can't I take a picture? Like, I'm so... I'm so, Take evidence of it. Tap. Like, I don't know what to do. This doesn't do anything. Okay. What do I have at my disposal? The wind tool. That. I can't even check the temperature right now. I have my bag, but that doesn't have anything. There's no camera. I can't use that. I don't see a camera. I have bear spray, which apparently I can pick up. Am I just supposed to go to them? Let's see. If I'm not supposed to do that, it probably won't let me go down. Oh, press space to take a photo. There we go. Take evidence of it. Oh my God, that's even closer. So it doesn't look like there's anything. <gasps> they saw me. I gotta hide, dude. I gotta hide. I gotta hide. I'm hiding. I am hiding under.
under the... had to make a run what does that mean I, I i don't know what to do i'm gonna be honest here i don't know what to do like i gotta call i gotta call i gotta call him what does that mean i had to make a run does that mean i have to like i have to get out of here i'm gonna take the flashlight i'm gonna take this I had to make a run. What happens if I try to go to sleep? Okay, I accidentally hid. All right, I had to make a run. I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna sleep. Oh, it won't let me sleep. I had to make a run. I had to make them run? Is that what it means? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, I had to make him run. I think that's what it's supposed to say. All right, I wasn't. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, we're getting close, guys. We got maybe like one more thing. We're getting close to the end. Abandoned. Oh. Oh, yes. I'm so glad I don't have to do most of that over again. Okay, here comes this bitch up the walk here to try and harm me. I don't know. What, are, what is he doing? Like, the most they would get is a fire violation for setting a fire when they're not supposed to. Why Why were they trying to harm me or coming after me? They're doing some weird shit. All right, when he starts breaking down the door, we have to, when we hear him and we see that door move, we have to be, I have to be quiet. I have to watch my mic close. I don't know why I'm not picking the mic. It's like, honestly, it's like picking up my breathing and stuff.
should I take? I should take bear spray, right? To defend myself? Although there's been no combat in these games up until now. I don't know why I'm still whispering. It's because I'm freaked out. I don't want to do this again. I'm just supposed to run. Just run. Just run. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Why would you stop and be like, oh, he's spreading out of me? Just fucking go, dude. Get the hell out. Run, 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 run. All right, we got to get in the port of how to go. We got to be quiet, remember? Okay. stupid. Oh my god. Can I get out? This is not good. I'm gonna die. This guy's gonna be. It was locked. Oh! Oh, he's after me, dude! Oh, holy shit! Get into the RV, bro! Get into the RV! Get into the RV! I can't do it! I can't do it! Get the fuck out, dude! Go, 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 go! Job over, job over. As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sets heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Wow. Dude, fuck, man. Jesus. What a... Oh, man. All the music was really good in this too. So it's showing the music right now on screen. You guys should definitely check that out. It is all streamer slash content creation friendly too, which is really cool by those artists. What a what a neat little story, right? And realistically, right? Those guys were dressing up and doing some cold shit, right? They were probably like a cult or they were some sort of like group of people doing like witch or witchcraft or something or wizardry, whatever you want to call it. I don't know something weird and i'm sure that that stuff actually goes on out in remote areas right because people are crazy and do crazy shit. why they would try to harm a forestry service person who caught them other than illegally starting a fire somewhere that they shouldn't be which you don't get in that much trouble for i don't know why they would do that so that was horrifying by the way i caught jack septicai's name there in the credits if you guys didn't so i was right about him being in that little video but uh that's fierce to fathom iron bark lookout man i really enjoyed that you know rael does a great job of keeping the tension and the atmosphere really good in these games and adding in little unique things like the fire reporting elements and the little zombie game on the computer in the firewatch tower there's just a lot of little fun additions and little fun things to see and if you play through this multiple times you might catch a few different things here and there i'm sure i probably missed tons of stuff i did catch that guy in the burger joint who had some sort of black costume thing it looked like and a burlap sack and a shovel you just don't just don't just get we created civilization for a reason 
don't go out into the woods it's just, you don't need to you don't need to we we have these nice houses now and air conditioning and everything just you know you can experience the woods and all of its terrifying horror through games like this so you know that's what i would do thanks for watching everybody i really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed this as much as i did because i loved it definitely go check out fierce to fathom iron bark lookout give rael some love it's always awesome to see a solo dev make some cool shit like this be awesome stay awesome